What is up guys, it's your boy Shady Mike and in today's video we're going to talk about how to install Reshade for Madden 26. Now this was actually a pretty heavily requested video last year but um, I just never got around to doing it so I wanted to make sure I got this knocked out early. This year is actually before the official release of Madden 26. So if you guys do like the content please do like the video and subscribe for more. We're going to be covering uh, mods all year and if you guys do plan on buying Madden 26 on the EA app be sure to use my creator code Shady Mike Gaming to support the channel i really appreciate you guys but other than that guys let's go ahead and get into reshade so one of the first things i want to let you guys know is in order to use reshade with madden 26 you do have to have a modded madden 26 so uh, if your game is not modded the anti-cheat will shut it down it will not launch reshade so uh, if you haven't already watched my modding tutorial how to get your game set up for mods Go watch that. I'll make sure that is linked in the description. But if you've already done that and now you'd like to add reshade and aren't familiar with the process, um, that's what this video is for. So with that being said, you might ask a question, why use reshade? I think the obvious answer to that is to get all those vibrant colors and better looking graphics. Now, if uh, you're new to the channel, um, or rather, I should say, if you've been around the channel, uh, you've heard me say I'm actually not a big fan of reshade presets. Um, I think they a lot of times come with too big of a... Um, penalty a performance penalty um, and I just think there's other ways to tweak your colors right you can use the um, Nvidia control panel right um, you know just, just other ways to do that you can really just tweak the colors on your monitor if we're being honest but um, I still wanted to make sure I ran through this process because with that being said I always install reshade specifically on Madden and that's because reshade has two extremely important um, additional uses for a content creator like me the first and what the one I think is very important um, early on for a lot of us is it provides a frame rate counter to the game that's very light and does not cause additional performance issues, right? We know that things like uh, MSI Afterburner, Reva Tuner, um, what else do, do people use these days? A, a lot of those, oh, of course, GeForce Experience, a lot of those overlay programs can cause additional issues just by running them in the first place. Um, Reshade, so far at least, has not had that issue for me over the past three or four years. So that light frame rate counter is very important. The second and most important for me as a content creator is just a one button, one click uh, screenshot capture. Now, there again, there are different overlays that do that, different programs that do that, but for me, Reshade is the lightest and the easiest. It's really good for capturing exactly what's going on in my game, so that I can just take a screenshot of exactly what is on my screen. So, naturally, uh, to do this, we are going to need a Reshade preset. A preset is just a group of settings that is going to determine how game looks while running Reshade. Um... So uh, naturally, Madden 26 has just come out, so there actually are not uh, any reshade presets for Madden 26. Uh, however, I'm going to go into the Madden uh, modding community discord and download a reshade from Madden 25. And let's just hope uh, everything works. But uh, this is more of just for demonstration purposes. Uh, yeah, usually the reshades uh, work pretty, pretty good from year to year. So I'm just in Madden 25 mods. I'm just going to type in reshade. Let's see what comes up. Um, and I think the one I want to use is we're going to use this bottom one here. It's from Sanguine Ramen. Shout out to Sanguine Ramen for uh, his reshade preset. We're going to give this a go. Um, I'm looking for the download. Okay, here it is. So let's download this one. This is a, the latest version. A reset, a reshade preset uh, V2. I'm just going to put this uh, in my Madden 26 mods. A folder and you're going to notice the presets are going to be dot ini files so we're going to save that and uh that just downloaded and yes we're so now we've got the reshade downloaded let's go ahead and actually install reshade the program now so first thing i'm going to do here i am just going to open up a browser window um let me do that and we are literally just going to type in reshade and we'll press enter there. And here is the Reshade website, should be your first link. We are going to press download. Um, I'm not going to get the one with full add-on support because I don't know what that is. Uh, if we need that later um, for something else, I'll 
uh, do that or make another video. Um, I'm just going to download that and I'm going to put it on the desktop. So we've got our reshade set up uh, on the desktop. So going to run this and we're going to look for the program or application that we want to install reshade for. Now um, I'm going for uh, Madden 26 and it is right here, luckily, but if you can't find it in your list for whatever reason, you can browse and then go to locate wherever your Madden is stored. For me, my Madden is stored on C, um, EA games, men 26. I um, mean, then you would choose the EXE. Everyone's, uh, file pathing might not be the same. Um, I guess I should show that too. Um, in order to find your file path, the same way we did in our modding, uh, installation tutorial, you can just come over to Madden in your EA app. Oh my God. I've already got 26 hours. You can go to view properties. Um, and this uh, right here is the path, uh, for your Madden 26. But for this demonstration, I am going to select, um, where was it? I had seen it. Um, there we go, Madden 26, and we will just go to next. Um, I am, we are on direct X 10, 11, 12, which I think everyone will be on. Um, what I like to do, I just install everything. I don't know what all this stuff does, but just to be safe. So I just go uncheck all and then check all, and you can see everything's installed. Go to next. It'll do its thing. It's actually pretty quick. Usually it's pretty quick. There we go. Not that bad. And you press finish. Um, and now our reshade is installed. Now, important to know that, yes, you do, like I said earlier, have to launch the game with your modded uh, with, with through the mod manager. So we do have to launch it with the anti cheat disabled or you will not actually get the reshade. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is how to install a reshade preset so what we're going to do uh, is we're going to go into our madden 26 route we want to find that um and here we are so you'll notice you have or perhaps you won't notice so i'll just show you there's going to be a few new uh folders here reshade um shaders um what else will you see uh reshade.i and the i reshade.log this just shows that you were able to uh, install the reshade into this game important to note that this is your root so whenever you take a screenshot which we'll show you how to do in a bit uh this folder is exactly where those screenshots will go so uh we are in the root and this is where we're actually going to drag any type of reshade preset that we download it goes directly Directly into the root. So um, I'm going to navigate over to where I saved that reshade preset that we downloaded earlier. Sorry, guys. Quick side note: um, the my browser actually blocked the download of that file uh, for some reason. It kind of doesn't trust it. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to allow that. So if that happens to anybody and it doesn't show up where you downloaded it. That's why. So anyways, uh, back to that. So let me, like I said, go, we're going to go find the reject that we downloaded earlier. Um, ramen preset V2. And we're literally just going to drag that into our Madden 26 route. And it is going to be there and it is going to be able to be loaded by reshade. So now at this point in time, we are going to launch Madden. And when we launch Madden, there's going to be a setup screen that pops up uh, that's just, just going to show uh, that we're running reshade. But remember, we have to launch Madden through the mod manager because um, that is going to be the way that we're sure that we are launching uh, the modded version of the game. So let's open up our mod manager. And I'm just going to launch this uh, with, you know, a few uh, with a few mods you don't have to uh, launch it with mods per se, but I'm just going to go ahead and launch. And I want to show you guys this setup piece live so I can show you guys exactly uh, what we're looking to do. And I'm just going to mute the game audio and we'll give this a second to launch. I'll mute the game audio. Um, that way the audio doesn't blow our ears off. Um, but I do, I don't want to really cut here. I want to make sure I do this live so that we can actually see exactly, uh, what this is going to look like, uh, once it comes up. 
All right, so you can see this menu now kind of compiling at the top. Uh, sometimes the text is extremely small and hard to read, but it's saying compiling. Um, it's going to compile and pretty much get everything ready to uh, go. So it says reshade is very hard to read. I'm sure you guys are struggling. Same as I am. It says reshade is now installed successfully. Press home to start the tutorial, but I'm not going to do that yet. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to go. What I want to do is I actually just want to go into practice really quick. So uh, we're just going to kind of stay right here. This is, yeah, this is a great spot. So in order to get this startup, it says press home to start the tutorial. I'm going to press home and then we're going to skip the tutorial because we don't need the tutorial. First thing you're going to want to do is go over to settings. This is where we're going to try to configure some of this stuff. And we're looking for global font. Um, that's the most important thing right now that we can do. Let's change the font so that we can actually see stuff. So I was able to put it at 20. The next thing that we want to do is we want to set up our hotkeys. Um, home by default is the overlay key. Watch when I press home, what happens? Pops up, goes away, pops up, goes away. This is how you get to your reshade. You wanna make sure that that's something that uh, you like. The next uh, um, key that I really like binding, I usually bind the effect toggle key to insert and we will see why we do that in just a second so we'll put the effect toggle key at insert excuse me at insert um so that's another one that we bind and what i like to do here is i actually like to come down and look at how we can do the show fps so you can see uh with this box kind of checked and filled in as a square um it's showing the fps in the right corner and then when i hide reshade it goes away shows and goes away uh first and foremost is extremely hard to read so we probably want to make it easier to read so let's go to osd text color i usually make it a bright green there we go and then we can go osd font text size I usually make it as big as possible so now we can see a little bit better we're going to go to global font we're going to make this a little bit bigger let's try 25 um, you just want to be careful because sometimes uh, the FPS can clip off the side of the screen, especially if you're getting triple digit FPS. But right now I'm locked um, to uh, I'm locked to 60. So with that being said, um, the show FPS uh, box is filled in. If we change this to a check, even when we get rid of the overlay we still see the fps so now if there are fps fluctuations in our game it's tracking we can see so if you're having performance issues you want to see your fps this is the best way to do it now with that being said let's actually get to the reshade because i know that's what a lot of you guys are interested in so we're going to open up that menu that home menu and you're going to go to see where it says reshade preset this is nothing. There's nothing applied here. You can see there's no effects checked. So there's nothing being applied to our game. However, if you click this area, there's a drop down and you can scroll. And we're looking and look at what we see down here. Ramen preset V2. You can select this and give it a second. It's going to apply. And now all of a sudden we've got our reshade applied and man, shout out, uh, that actually looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, you can see this is the game with reshade. I've got, it's a little bright for me. I've got some other effects kind of overlaying this. So it might look a little bit weird on your screen, but you know, I would have to just tweak this a, a little bit for my personal setup, but it looks really, really good. Like it looks very detailed. So um, why did we bind the insert key? Um, because this is what I like to do. The effect toggle, if you press insert, your reshade's off. Press it again, it's on. Off, on, off, on. So you can do comparisons and see, you know, in different situations how you like it. Um, it's particularly useful if you want to see if there is a performance impact. So see we're locked at 60. Uh, with this on, you turn it off. And that's how it looks. Turn it back on. So yeah, it just gives you the ability to toggle, um, you know, in a in a way that you know it looks pretty good. So another thing that, like I said, I really like uh, using reshade to uh, take screenshots. And so what I would do 
I'll press the home button to bring this menu back up. And the screenshot key is print screen. And the screenshot path by default is just empty and blank. So it goes to the root of your game folder. So I'm going to take a screenshot, just press print screen. Oh, it looks like it brought my Windows thing up too. I would have to disable that. But if we tab out and go back to our Madden 26 root, look at this. We got a perfect screenshot of everything in game. And this is a perfect replica of exactly what we're seeing on the screen. And a little touch that I really like is the fact that it doesn't include the FPS counter. Because if I take a picture using uh, my OBS from my stream PC, uh, it would capture that counter. But this way doesn't, as you guys can see in the bottom left corner, it's a 4K image coming in at 20, a whopping 21 megabytes. But yeah, it gives us a, a native uh, image um, and things of that nature. Um, don't uh, negatively judge this reshade um, if you guys think it's a little bit too bright. Like I said, um, I've got some other stuff running in the background that I uh, like. I have over all of my YouTube videos. So I'm sure this will look a heck of a lot better um, on you guys' computer than it does mine. But um, yeah, this is... a a reshade and this is how you install it and if there's ever a situation where you want to download another reshade now that you have this installed and enabled all you have to do is come in and drag your reshade presets that's that dot ini file into your madden 26 root um, and yeah you can install as many as you want and then you just come into this menu by pressing home and you can click the drop down and find it uh, and press select and those effects will be loaded. Um, so yeah, other than that, guys, that's how you install Reshade. That's how I use Reshade. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's your boy, Shady Mike. I'm signing out. Make sure you guys leave any questions or comments that you have below. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Threes. Guys, just a bonus tip here. Um, it was bothering me a little bit that pressing print screen uh, kept bringing up the Windows uh, screenshot tool. So I wanted to disable that. So if you just, if you feel the same way, um, if you just go into your search bar and type in accessibility, should pop up. There you go. Accessibility keyboard settings. If you just click that um, and then scroll down until you see use the print screen key to open screen capture. You can disable that. I, I'm going to do that because I use, um, you know, reshade to take my screenshots. And this is a little bit annoying with it doubling up like that. Um, that's completely uh, personal preference. <laughs>